Look at that good boy. <laughs> All three of my good boys. Oh! <laughs> Puppies. Seriously. Sonny, I'm glad to have you back. Oh, I can't even hold the camera straight. All the puppies want to be by me. Oh, poor Sonny. He's like, leave me alone, guys. I'm relaxing. Oh, Junior's so happy to have his brother back. Hey everybody in here. Um, things are going to go a little bit differently today. Something really weird is happening in that van coop. Okay, normally the chickens will lay in this box or way back there. They don't even lay in there. I, I need to just take that out. Sometimes they'll lay down there. So I check every single day those spots. And sometimes they lay over here. I check all of the spots every day. This right here, this is Raven. Underneath of her, I think she's got 13 eggs, and she's just sitting on them. I don't know what she did. I don't know if she hid the eggs and then moved them. I don't know if she took them out of the box or whatever it is she did. She's got a whole clutch of eggs underneath of her. I'm going to move her just because, well, I, I was like looking over here because she was sitting on them. She was all flattened out, so... I'm, I'm going to move her. You know, I don't think I'm going to let her hatch out eggs, but I want to, I want you to see how many eggs are down there. Yes, there is. Because there's one down there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eight, thirteen eggs. I, I, there's no way that I don't have that many laying hens. So she must have collected these and just got them all over here so she could sit on them. I am freaking out. She's mad at me right now. So she's squawking up a storm. Uh, most of those eggs are kind of dirty because she probably got them from other places. I don't know. How does a chicken do that? It, like out of the, out of the, um, file cabinet? Do they get them with their feet or something? And then just move them? 13 eggs. No wonder. No wonder. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna watch her and see what she does. I don't think she's actually going broody. Well, I mean she might be going broody, but I don't think she's gonna be able to hatch out those eggs. It's just too gosh darn cold. But and it's not Miss Pris this time. I'm sure. I'm sure that it is Raven. Yes. That's Raven. She's got the Easter egg or tufts and it's not splash. So by process of elimination. And I gotta, I gotta add more bedding and clean up this front. Let's just see what she does. Look at her. Before long, she's just going to be completely flattened out. This is so ironic. Okay, so I've just been, uh, you know, doing home study stuff, uh, moving some wood around as usual, same old chores, chicken chores, picking up dog poop, doing this, that, and the other. Um, all boring stuff, but all very essential stuff for me. So on that clutch of eggs, there are now 14 eggs. There's also... Um, two in the back in the little brooder box and there's two or three in the file cabinet so I haven't even checked the Easter eggers yet 
Um, I'm just going to let them all stay there, and I'm going to see if one of them chickens, I don't know, I don't yet actually know if it's even um, Raven. She was just the one sitting on all the eggs. It could have been one of the others, and maybe she just hopped on just to lay another egg. I don't know. So I'm going to see what happens with them. Um, um, I don't think I'm going to be able to, you know, collect those eggs and eat them because I don't know. I don't even know how long they've been there. I have no idea how they got there. It is just, it's a mystery. So I'm going to see if uh, something happens to the other eggs that are that have been left here and there to see if somebody's going to move them around and put them in that little clutch and maybe start sitting on them. Um, I don't hope to hatch out eggs. I just want to learn about this process. I'm going to do some reading and some studying on, you know, uh, funky chicken behavior and how they hide their eggs or how they move them around or whatever. Some of you may already know. You can just leave me a comment down below and school me on it. But, um, it's pretty interesting because I had noticed that the egg count had dropped and I was only getting two, three, some, uh, one day I only got one egg. And that wasn't typical. And then all of a sudden, this big, huge clutch of eggs. I'm like, how did that happen? I'm just freaking out. So anyhow, um, let's go back to Sunny. Okay. Y'all know that I got Sunny and Junior from the next door neighbors. They're Papa's sons. And um, after a while, um, it just seemed like the three of them together was just going to be too much. And the puppies were, you know, tripping me. I was starting to fall. And I was getting very frustrated. But here's the thing. I don't think I was getting frustrated. I think I was already frustrated. I had been in a mood. And um, my joints were bothering me. And I just wasn't feeling happy, as it were. Um, so my patience level had dropped. Um, but the, the neighbors gladly took Sonny back. And they've been taking very good care of him. Oh, he's gotten so big. And all of those puppies, they just look so so big and healthy and they're they're just cute cute as can be well um papa had been going over and visiting he visits with everybody and um well so then the puppy started coming over here and sunny started coming over here and then after about uh, a day and a half Sonny came over and he wouldn't leave. He he got up underneath the house and he kept whining. He wanted to stay. He was right outside the yard after all the other puppies had gone back home. Sonny was still there whining, wanting to get back here with us. So I'm like, you know what? It may have been not the best decision for me to take two puppies instead of just one. But it was equally a bad decision on, uh, of mine to just say, oh, I'm done. Here, take them. You take them back. You take care of them now. Um, that was also a wrong decision. Um, Sonny had already kind of bonded with, you know, Junior and Papa and me. And he had gotten used to living here. And it seemed apparent to me that he still considered this his home. So um, as challenging as it's going to be, not right now, because they're all taking a little nap. Um, you know what, Sunny? Sunny's home is here. Sunny's home is here with me. So I've got Sunny. I've got Junior. Now Junior is the all buff kind of tan looking one, and uh, Junior, yeah, Junior. And then Sunny is the one with the little white paws. He's got the the white neck and the darker kind of face. Looks more like Papa. Um, <laughs> And they've just been having a really, really wonderful time together. So um, that's that's the way it's going to be. Yep, we've got three dogs on this homestead, and they're all wonderful. And the dogs next door are wonderful. They're welcome over here anytime. They don't bother the chickens. They don't bother anything. The only thing that concerns me is that Papa plays a little bit too rough for the puppies. Now, inside the tiny house, he, he can't get a running start, you know. But out there, I, I watched him, and he kind of, well, like he dive-bombs the kids. He dive-bombs the, the, the other puppies, and they're just too small yet um, to play that rough. So um, I need to figure out a way to solve that. So if you've uh, got any suggestions on how to break him of that, um, he just gets so excited that he, he just loves to be around people. He loves to be around other animals, and he just loves to play. So... Um, anyhow, I need to figure out a way to get him to be a little bit more gentle. All right. Well, um, I got chicken chores to do. I got to go check those eggs again. Um, I wish I could lay down and take a nap like all these puppies. <laughs> 
But I think that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. For watching everybody i hope you enjoyed the video make sure you like subscribe hit the bell and y'all have a good one